in the latter half of the 1990s when Korea was on an arduous march and forced march because of the U.S. imperialist maneuvers to isolate and stifle the republic and because of the natural calamities, Kim Jong-il visited the workers and other people of Chagang province. Bearing in mind his instruction that bullets, not sweets, will save the people from falling into the lot of slavery again, the workers in Chagang province are living and working like undying birds. The workers and other people of Chagang province strive under the motto, let us go smiling though the way is thorny. Although they are too hungry to stand up, they tighten their belts by their machines, asking for work to do. <music> Yearning for Kim Jong-il, these people have built power stations by their own efforts and electrify their province by courageously overcoming all the difficulties. Kim Jong-il called the fighting spirit of these people as the Kange spirit, the people who had carried out the arduous march with success. He held them up as the front rankers of the whole country. In order to spread the Kange spirit all over the country, Kim Jong-il visits the workers of the Sungjian Steelworks and encourages them to raise a torchlight of a great upsurge the workers were overcoming manifold difficulties caused by the imperialists. Because a powerful nation has to be built by our own efforts, Kim Jong-il encourages the people to display the revolutionary spirit of self-reliance everywhere he goes. saying that defeatism and the worship of great powers should be crushed by the iron hammer of self-reliance. Kim Jong-il trusts the working class as the main force of the revolution who must continue to perform heroic feats, teaching them the truth that heroic feats can be proud only when they are performed continuously, just as flowers can be beautiful only when they are in bloom without withering. Kim Jong-il has led all sectors of socialist construction to effect leap forward, to turn adversity into favorable situation, misfortune into blessings, and to realize the hopes for a bright future as soon as possible. Kim Jong-il is on an endless journey of field direction, giving rise to the revolutionary spirit of soldiers and the Ganga spirit everywhere he goes, inspiring the people with a confidence in building a powerful nation and optimism for the prosperity of the country. He launched a blueprint for national prosperity and set in motion the full-charged endeavors to make history of transformation for the people's well-being. As a result, Korea's landscape has got new appearance. 
he initiated a grand plan of realigning the crop fields throughout the country and standardized the size and shape, and enlisted the servicemen and civilian people in his nature harnessing project. This vast, refreshing scenery of changed landscape is the fruit of Kim jong ils daring plan and efficient leadership. The overriding concern of Kim jong ils activity is the well-being of the people, including workers, and on his inspection trips across the country, he always calls the dormitories and dwelling homes to look closely into the people's living conditions. Everyone who had an opportunity to meet Kim Jong-il said to him earnestly, Please don't worry about our living. When we are through with hardship, we'll be well off. Our only wish is your good health. Deeply impressed, Kim Jong-il said to the officials, How laudable our people are. We fail to supply them with sufficient food or clothes, but they dismiss it only as passing fellowship and continue to support our party and socialist system. When they see me, they always thank me. We must work to provide a fulfilling, prosperous life for these people who trust and follow the party only. He is determined to strive to give the people what material comfort he can. This is why they follow him as their father and tell him even their innermost feelings and thoughts. These scenes of single-hearted unity, the true profile and source of the might of Korea, are based on the people's conviction that national prosperity and their well-being are in store when they follow Kim Jong-il, the destiny of the nation and the father of the harmonious country, to the ends of the earth. <laughs>